Hi, I'm Dr. Sheila Reyes from the Philippines, reporting for Room Now from ACR 2020. Today, I'll be giving you an update on myositis, in particular, the results of the Progress in Dermatomyositis or PRODERM study, abstract number 0995, which was presented by Professor Rohit Agarwal during the abstract session. This trial investigated the efficacy, safety, and tolerability of IVIG in patients with dermatomyositis. This study is a phase three randomized placebo-controlled trial that enrolled 95 adult DM patients with active disease currently on standard immunosuppression or previously failed or intolerant to standard immunosuppression had a manual muscle test score of less than 142 over 150 with at least two abnormal core set measures. Patients were stratified into mild, moderate, or severe disease. The study was divided into two periods. The first period, patients were randomized to IVIG 2 gram per kilogram every four weeks or placebo every four weeks up to week 16, followed by an open label extension period of up for up to week 40. For stable patients, there was an option to decrease the dose of IVIG to one gram per kilogram every week at week 24. And patients with confirmed deterioration anytime from week eight to week 16 can be switched to an alternate treatment group. The trial met its primary endpoint, which was the proportion of responders at week 16 who had a total improvement score or TIS of more than 20 points. For a brief background, the TIS is a validated response criteria for both DM and PM based on six core set measures, including manual muscle testing, physician and patient global assessments, HAC, muscle enzymes, and extramuscular disease activity. So going back to the results, there was a statistically significant proportion of patients who had minimal improvement, this of less than 20 points, versus placebo at week 16. Similar results were also found for the proportion of responders who at least had moderate or major improvement. IVIG response was maintained for all efficacy endpoints through week 40 and similar response rates were seen after switching to IVIG from placebo. The mean TIS was also significantly higher in the IVIG groups. 62 patients developed treatment emergent adverse events, most common of which were headache, pyrexia, and nausea. Serious PEAEs were similar in both treatment groups, with thromboembolic events being the most common. In conclusion, the PRODERM study showed the efficacy, safety, and tolerability of 10% IVIG or 10% octagam in patients with dermatomyositis. What's my take on this? The results are really good. Probably not yet my first line agent for dermatomyositis, but definitely an alternative option for patients refractory to treatment or those with contraindications to standard immunosuppressive therapy. Follow me on Twitter at Rumarampa and tune in to Room Now for more videos and reports. Thank you.